We are given the following information and asked to determine the probability of A or B. And we will find this probability two ways. Let's first find the probability using the Venn diagram, and then we'll find the probability using one of the formulas shown below. From the given information, we're told the probability of A and B is equal to 0 0.13, which means the probability of being in the intersection of set A and set B, which is this set here, 0 0.13. Let's go ahead and label this. And then we're told the probability of A is 0 0.19. So the probability of being in this set here is 0 0.19. We already have 0 0.13 here. 0 0.19 minus 0 0.13 is 0 0.06, which is a probability for only A, which is here. And then we're told the probability of B is 0 0.15. Well, here's set B. We already have 0 0.13 in set B. 0 0.15 minus 0 0.13 is 0 0.02. The probability of only B is 0 0.02. And we can actually stop here. We can now find the probability of A or B, which is a probability of the union of A and B, which is this set here. The probability of A or B is equal to 0 0.06 plus 0 0.13 plus 0 0.02, which is equal to 0 0.21. But let's also find this probability using one of the formulas below. Notice how we do have a probability for A and B, which means the two events are not mutually exclusive because they can occur at the same time. If the events were mutually exclusive, they could not occur at the same time, and the probability of A and B would be zero. And therefore, to find the probability of A or B, we use the formula here for events that are not mutually exclusive, which is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B, which in our case gives us 0 0.19 plus 0 0.15 minus 0 0.13, which also gives us 0 0.21. I hope you found this helpful.